Yo, it's Bogue. Welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program episode in my Beyond the Wormhole series. Today we're taking this space station I built using uh, a mod called Stock Alike Station Parts Expansion Redux by form user Nertea. And so this mod uh, adds some stock alike parts just to our uh, arsenal of parts to use in Kerbal Space Program to build um, space stations specifically or like living modules in space. Okay, so I think like the best part about this mod is that it adds an array of these centrifuge modules or these artificial gravity rings that we sometimes like to build in Kerbal Space Program 1 using the 16x radial hack. Um, and then you can kind of like make your own rings, but they can be a little bit buggy. So one of the cool parts about this mod is it comes with a bunch of pre-made um, centrifuge rings to add. Also some other cool stuff like this little hydroponics module here. I'm just going to show off some of the parts that I used to build the space station to kind of showcase this mod for you guys. But yeah, let's uh, see what we got here. So it's kind of built off of a core, so it still has that core-centered um, space station kind of design. There's like a station core here. I put in this, uh, what is that, like a the reaction wheel. Um, this is an airlock unit, which is pretty cool. It has like a, a drop-down docking port, pretty cool. Um, added like a little arm to it. There's just a pressurized crew cabin tube, um, and there's like a little uh, remote telescope that you can throw on top, or like a little observation um, telescope there. There's like this giant like core. We got some more cupola modules. Uh, this is like a panopticon, like I don't know. Here's a really cool like extending docking arm tube, which I think will be really useful for you guys. Um, here's like a giant uh, hydroponics module, like research uh, station kind of part. And yeah, and uh, that's really cool. I A lot of these have actually really awesome interior views, which you can download separately in CCAN, but I highly recommend it. And so this is like this giant like geodesic like observation dome that you can throw in there. There's a bunch of different variations of these geodesic domes in the part pack but i'm just going to show off some other ones like i don't know exactly what these are they have empty ones um there's just another space station core some more tubes uh yeah and they have them in a bunch of different sizes you can make really large stations um here are some of the other centrifuges that this um part pack includes um so these are like the biggest ones um and some of them are deployed i mean i think most of them are deployable which means like they fold up um, or they can fold up, um, which is really cool for um, making these a little bit more realistic when you launch them. It's like they fold up um, so that they're a little bit more compact form factor wise. That makes it a lot more realistic than the um, ones that you have to build yourself using the radial hack uh, method. Um, but yeah, this mod also comes with some cargo containers that are kind of interesting that you might want to throw on your space stations or like your inter planetary vessels your interstellar craft if you have um, any of those in the works for yourself you're just some more like kind of core parts tubes adapters that sort of thing radial mounts as well um, yeah so this I highly recommend this uh, part pack like especially for the um, centrifuges and just like the extra station parts um, like a lot of the parts and there's like fairly few parts in the just stock game that are like uh, like solely kind of specifically for building space stations um, so we end up kind of like using other parts to achieve that look but with this mod it has a lot more dedicated parts that you can use to create your own really cool and more unique space stations for a Kerbal Space Program so I highly recommend it I'm going to be flying this one that I built to the wormhole around Sarnus that connects to the Cacao Below system which is another mod that adds some more star systems through a wormhole that I've built my series around uh, these past few months on my Kerbal Space Program channel. Yeah, so let's send this thing to the launch pad. I've got it kind of on a super heavy um, setup here, kind of like SpaceX uh, Falcon 9 super heavy. Got these two um, external fuel tanks that are draining into the main tank that I'll be able to stage deploy here. And yep, just, just like that. And I've got that whole space station on top of this thing in that kind of like big goofy looking fairing. Um, like I could have assembled it in orbit to have like my fairing sizes be a little bit more realistic, but um, you know, it's got to be Kerbal Space Program somehow, you know, some of these giant, uh, like when you have the fuel, just throw the whole thing on there and send it all up in one piece, you know what I'm saying? 
but here I am just coasting up to my apoapsis to complete my circularizing burn around Kerbin to achieve orbit. And then we'll be trying to set up a transfer um, to the Sarna system, which I, you guys probably see a ton of if you watch my videos. Um, so the Cacalbolo system puts a wormhole around Sarnus, which I guess I should say is like the Saturn analog to the Kerbal system. If you have Outer Planets mod installed, it adds like analog, Saturn, uh, Uranus, Neptune, that sort of thing. Just kind of like past Jewel as an expansion to the original game. But if you're trying to do Ker uh, Kerbal Space Program Cacalbolo mod and you don't have Outer Planets mod installed, it'll place the wormhole around Jewel. So you don't have to play with it, but I highly recommend it because I feel like it's essentially as close as you could get to like a stock part um or not stock part but like a stock expansion to the original game i uh i remember hearing kind of like rumors that they were originally planning on putting a ringed gas giant past jewel um originally but that never popped up so here i am just executing that escape burn um i have tons of fuel and these engines are really powerful so i only need to um do it in one burn one flyby um i haven't I guess I guess I kind of got past myself, but I forgot to say that the transfer window to Sarnus is. I mean, you could pause the video and see right here, but since it's on a higher orbit than uh, Jewel, it's going to be past 90 degrees because the uh, transfer window to Jewel is about 90 degrees. So I sometimes go for like I don't know, like 100 or 110 degrees. Um, but then you can kind of adjust your like exit angle from Kerbin's sphere of influence, and you can usually get a pretty good encounter there. It looks like we have our encounter. All I have to do is just match our inclination at our ascending node. Um, let me warp ahead to that. But yeah, the Sarna system is actually really, really similar to, I just deployed the fairing there. But yeah, like I was saying, it's really similar to the Jewel system. It has like a very similar amount of planets um, and it has a giant moon, like Kerbin sized moon called Slate, which you can do almost the exact maneuver that you would know how to do around Tylo if you have ever done that in the Jewel system. So it's very similar. Um, there I am just kind of like encountering this this moon called Slate and doing that gravity assist. In other videos, maybe you it'll be easier to understand how I'm doing this assist, but this video is actually real quick, just 15 minutes to kind of showcase this part mod um, for you guys and just have a quick little cool video for this weekend but here I am just about to execute that um, final adjustment to get that um, gravity assist all set up yeah let me know guys if you want me to do a tutorial on how to uh, kind of like set up some of the more like notable gravity assist opportunities in the outer planets mod or cacao below system mods like I'm I've used gravity assist quite a bit in my missions to try to save fuel so I know like all the good ones um, if that makes sense so if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in please like leave a comment let me know I'll totally take requests I've got some tutorial videos planned um, so yeah that's something that's definitely on my radar so I actually had to do one more kind of maneuver to just like correct some of the inaccuracies of my last uh, maneuver node but looks like we've got that capture assist all set up and so that little like light gray orbit kind of far out that's actually the orbit of the wormhole and so i'm aiming for an apoapsis that intersects that um, orbital height and then once i'm in the system i can kind of like do some little course corrections to set myself up on an encounter with the wormhole in a few more orbits and so here we are in the sarna system we're going to do our slate flyby there uh, just a second And there's our flyby and there's sarnus pretty cool yeah i love this mod for sure the outer planets mod is if you're looking to get into like some extra de destinations to the kerbal space program kind of like planets i would absolutely start with um outer planets mod but i just got past myself once again i just finished doing an inclination match um maneuver with the wormhole which i've said is my target um, and you just do that by burning either anti-normal or normal at your periapsis um, relative, not your periapsis, on one of your ascending or descending nodes relative to the wormhole. And what I just did, as I was explaining, that is um, I raised my periapsis above um, the orbit of slate so that on any like future orbits I won't 
kind of like end up accidentally in the slate orbit and flung off in any direction I don't want to. And so I actually also just found an uh, like a natural encounter with the wormhole with only like six meters per second to get an encounter. And it was like two years in orbit, so I just went ahead and took it and warped ahead. And here is my flyby of the wormhole. Um, just warping ahead till I'm actually one orbit away. Then I'll make an adjustment to set up my flyby um, a little bit closer so that I can begin to set up my circularizing maneuver. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Um, just setting up that circularizing capture burn and I'll warp ahead till we're in the sphere of influence. Should be able to see it shortly. Oh yeah, there it is on our left. Just looks like a spherical hole or like an inside out hole in and of itself. Maybe that's kind of what it looks like to me. Like a 3D hole that's inside out. Kind of weird. But here we are pulling up on our periapsis. You can kind of even see into the Cacalbolo system through the wormhole. You can see kind of like the galactic ring and even the star sun orc, which is that like little orange thing on our left. So that's the star system that the other wormhole on the other side of this, on the, of this particular wormhole, it'll spit you out into this other star system called the sun orc system. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. If you're interested in the Cacaobolo system, make sure to check out some of my other videos in my Beyond the Wormhole series, where I've explored some of these destinations uh, beyond the wormhole, as it were, um, using stock parts, which I think is pretty cool. Anyways, we've just deployed our space station, and I'm about to kick this thruster, or this like booster just kind of into the wormhole to just dump it. Let me switch to the space station here. Just turn the lights on, let's get it oriented. The whole nine yards. And I can show off kind of like how this thing deploys. So I got the solar panels on the bottom. Let me deploy, or I guess inflate that centrifugal uh, artificial gravity ring and throw the lights on and get some screenshots. That's a good, that's a good view there, if I do say so myself. Anyways, you can spin up that ring and something cool about this ring, the, the rings in this mod versus like the ones that you would have to make by hand in Kerbal Space Program 1 is these automatically counteract for their own torque. So um, that's pretty cool. Let me check out some of the interiors of this mod, which I think is really cool. They're really detailed and interesting. Um, just really cool, just like little detail. Um, so I'll just show you guys some of the other rooms. I believe this is the um, bottom uh, hydroponics uh, lab underneath the observation dome. I believe this is one of the space station cores. Uh, yeah, got some cool control panels. Uh, this is the interior of the um, artificial gravity ring where the crew quarters are located. There's another mod that I've been looking into called Free IVA, which is where like you can walk around freely in um, the interiors of these parts, which I think would be really fun. Um, let's do some other, just like poking around the station here. Let me transfer one of my Kerbals to the observation deck. Uh, and this is the really cool interior of the observation deck. Looks like you can see the artificial gravity ring in the window there. That's pretty cool. And it's got like some holographic, like, I don't know, like angle map on the windows here. That's kind of cool. Uh, let me turn it around see if I can see the wormhole through these uh, this giant geodesic window here. Looks like there's a little bit of glare from the sun that makes it a little foggy from this angle. But yeah, this is, I think, the airlock unit. Um, pretty cool. Let's see, maybe read the screen there. Oh, this is that like kind of like panopticon kind of... Actually, I don't even know what that word means. I might not be using it correctly. Um, let me transfer one of my Kerbals to the science lab. There's a new science lab in this uh, part pack, which is pretty cool. Looks like some code going on. Someone forgot their password. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, this, is, this, this one's really cool. I like the ladder that runs all the way through and the hatch on the end there. But yeah, it was a quick video today, guys. But there's my uh, space station um, that I built with uh, the stock alike station parts expansion redux mod by Nertea, which you guys can find on CCAN. I'll see if I can include the link. But yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you have any um, thoughts or ideas for a new video or something like that. 
My channel's been growing a lot recently, so I want to thank you guys for that. And I'll see you in the next one.